Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter the Master of Hoppers checking out another beer that I got from Beer Gnome, the great Dutch web shop that is now sponsoring the channel. Link for their shop is down below. They got plenty of stuff from these guys to check out. This is from Pechala. Pechala is a brewery I've been following pretty much since the beginning. Uh, the guys are from Estonia. So of course a whole lot bigger now than when I started following them but it was because they actually approached me and when I met some of the dudes at NBCC over in Copenhagen and they actually gave me some early samples of some of their bottles and right now they're just dominating the scene in Europe which is amazing to see with that, like especially their stouts. So they've gotten really good at barrel aged beer which is awesome. Pujala, if you want really great barrel aged beer in Europe is what you need to get. And I have a bottle, if you haven't seen the review yet, I hope you'll get to see it soon, of as good as, as it gets. Because I missed the release but the guys at Pujala was actually awesome enough to send over a bottle and people were saying like this is the best beer they've ever done and it's one of the best beers or Bish Barrel Aged Stouts in Europe, which is pretty amazing. And it's made in collaboration with another famous European brewery called Destoise. Or Destoise, I think that's how you say it. So this one sounds pretty fun because what I love about Pechala as well is that they do not just barrel aged beer, but like big dark beers and whatnot, with like different things. It's not like chocolate, vanilla, coffee, whatever. They, they play around with the ingredients, just like chefs, which is awesome. Like you can use so many things in cooking to improve flavors. You can do the same with beer because it's the same kind of canvas. So this guys is their Sombrero, which is a barrel aged Imperial Porter on 11.5%. Got the wax step going on this one. But yeah, the cool thing about this is that it's Mezcal barrel aged. So I was introduced to Mezcal for the first time last year. I knew of tequila. And what I knew about tequila was pretty much Jose Cuervo and uh, Sierra. And Sierra Jose Cuervo, you know, it's like... I tried some decent tequilas. I, I remember trying Patron. Patron in America, but I never really... I, I, tequila was okay, but it was something you only drank to get hammered. But when I was in the States last year, I tried some mezcal and I really enjoyed it. It's a really nice spirit and uh, it's cool to see them use that for barrels. Because it has some interesting flavors. Some mezcal are smoky, they're quite flu fr fruity. The agave produce just quite a unique flavor. And when you treat your spirit with respect and really work on the craftsmanship of it, why wouldn't it taste good? You know, tequila and whatnot is not just clear shots that you slam in a table and like the tequila slammers, all that crap. It can be really good. Uh, so they aged this in mezcal barrels. And the porter is brewed with Belizean chocolate and flamed orange zest. That sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool. So pours a nice black color. Didn't pour out as thick as some of their other stouts, but it's also an imperial porter and the barrel can really thin out a beer as well. Uh, nice beige tan looking head on there. Let's check out the aroma on Sombrero. Whoa, yeah, the barrel really jumps out at you. If you, it smells like smoky mezcal. So the agave aroma you get of uh, a tequila, imagine that just smoky. It's the way they kind of prepare it. So when they make mezcal, the the uh, blue agave plant is put in like big pits, I think with charcoal and they're like smoked so they can peel it. It's something like that. I'm not, a, again, no mezcal expert. This, I think there's something along the lines of what I heard. I know it's like, it's not necessarily smoke, but it's a way of preparing the agave, and I think it's actually the root you use or something for making the, the getting the, the sweet liquid out that you ferment and turn into a distillate. Um, but it, had that, it has that kind of smoky agave floral edge. An interesting thing I've heard from a lot of people is like, I do not smell the orange. Well, let me tell you, there's loads of orange in this. Uh, the flamed orange zest, I totally see it. It's like you took an orange zest and it's like lightly caramelized it. It's like this kind of warm orange vibe, if you can say it like that. Warm orange and smoky. It almost reminds me a little bit of Mickler's would it Mexis Ranger or Chipotle Porter when they did that barrel aged in terms of the smokiness that's to it? And I love smoking beers, so totally up my alley. And then there's nice chocolate vibes, but man, the mezcal really stands forward. And there's like a roasty tone, there's some ashy notes, hints of charry wood, 
campfire. It's like, it's, this is not like, if you prefer sweet barrel aged beer, this is not it. This is like charry, smoky, floral, uh, fruity, citrusy. It's very different. It's really unique. It's, it's, I think it's actually really cool smelling. I think a lot of people, I've, I've at least I've heard a lot of people think it's like, oh, it's too fruity and whatnot, but I think the components actually work quite well together, especially with this base of a porter because the roast paired with the smoke suits it. Let's try it guys. Cheers and thanks a ton to Beardo for the beer. Oh, what a cool flavor profile. That is, wow. Oh man, smoke. <laughs> I'm just a sucker for smoke. It's crazy being it cooking or a beer or whatever. I love that smoky flavor. It's so nice. Um, I will say, and a lot of people I've heard, like said the biggest beef with this, it's not as thick as some of their other stouts. Uh, and I do, agree with that it's much more thin it's like medium bodied it's slightly fizzy it's not like that luxurious rich body that you get in some pajala beers but the flavor really makes up for that because it's just a nice different take on imperial porter which is really good it's really nice the mezcal really provides this like really nice smoky agave floral character to the beer woodsy earthy a little bit as well Charry oaky, charry woody. Like, for a smoked beer lover, this is awesome. If you're not a smoked beer lover, this is maybe not completely your cup of tea, but I would also say that the smoke is not overdone, it's not too much, but I love the character it brings. And the flamed orange this, I really get it, because it's like this warming kind of like interesting orange flavor. And I think it's also the smokiness of the agave or the mezcal that kind of amplifies it. So you think of flamed orange zest because yeah, there's orange flavor and you've got the agave and everything com combined together. And people say the orange is underplayed. I think the chocolate might be the underplayed flavor for me. There's definitely chocolate, you know, but it's like, it's, it's like a split second. And then you get like all these robust and more earthy and floral and, and different flavors. I think this is a really cool beer. It's very different. It's not like your average Imperial Porter. It could have a bit more mouthfeel, but I still really enjoy the flavor profile, uh, which is just what I like. I think, and something you rarely see, like this kind of smoky uh, vibe, but just a different kind of smoke. It's not meaty smoke, it's like fruity smoke. It sounds weird, but what people associate with smoky beers is a charry, ashy, meaty, but this is like charry, floral, earthy. It's quite different, but it works really well. I think it's really cool. That's all I gotta say. It's good, cool, but it's also good. But not like mind blowing. Hmm. For me, I think like 93, 92. It's very nice. I would definitely not mind having some of this in my cellar because I love these kind of beers. And it will be interesting with a beer like this to see how the smoke profi profile will change. So if you're a fan of smoked beer, you need to get some sombrero in your life from Pichana. And Pichata, while you're at it, please play around with smoke and flavors like this a bit, bit more because this is pretty awesome. It'd be fun to see you guys playing around with like how can you make smoke taste different. Just like with barbecue using different kind of smoke sources like apple wood or cherry wood or whatever. Pair that with different flavors in beer. I mean, these guys are doing that kind of stuff a lot with their beers, which is awesome. So let's see some more smoky stuff, Pichata. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Just a request from a Dane online. But if you guys had a chance to try Sombrero from Pajala's Cellar Series, let me know what you thought of it. I think it's very nice. Maybe not the thickest, maybe not the fullest, but the flavors for me really work. If you had a chance to try it, let me know what you thought of it. Thought of it. If you want to try it, I'm pretty sure they still have it on Beer Dome, so check them out. Link for the shop is down below. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Now I'm going to say cheers and see you guys in another beer video.